I appear bright eyed and bushy tailed is because I'm a little drunk. <laughs> well, no, you know, I'm not going to say I'm drunk. I'm really buzzed. I'm feeling good right now. I just finished the versus battle with Keith Sweat and Bobby Brown. And when I say them niggas killed it, look at y'all. The last few verses I was not feeling. I damn sure was not watching Bow Wow and Soldier Boy. Fuck that. Hey, I guess my old man, that, that's, that's for the younger generation. This here, grown people shit. But you know what? Coming into this, I said this is a mismatch because Bobby and Keith, you know, opposite styles. I mean, Bobby got some slow jams too, but Keith is known for his slow jams, his baby making music. You know what I'm saying? Keith, when you put on Keith's sweat, you're guaranteed to get somebody pregnant. You know what I mean? And with Bobby, Bobby's more like nostalgic. You know what I'm saying? New edition, don't be cruel, on our own. You know, too hot to handle, too cold to hold. He called the ghost buses in the end control. I think I fucked the lyrics up, but I don't care. Look it, I'm half drunk, y'all. <laughs> so anyways, yeah, this versus Keith came out swinging. All right, from the beginning, the opening rounds, Keith came out swinging with some bangers. You know, how deep is your love? And Bobby came out with girlfriend. Yeah, that bubblegum shit. All right, but look, but as uh, the rounds went on, okay, after the break, Bobby came out. With some bangers, I guess Bobby was holding out until the later rounds. Okay, you know, I'm, I'm going to let Keith get these earlier rounds, but I'm going to come out and I got something for Keith after this shit. So Bobby came out mid-rounds with some shit. Okay, so he was catching up a little bit, but at the end, Keith ran away with the shit. Not only did he win the battle, but he also won the battle of wits. Because anybody that watches this battle knows that Keith was throwing some major fucking shade. <laughs> In the coolest way, as only Keith could. Keith would sit there and say the most. All right, for example, Bobby opened up with Telephone Man. All right, Mr. Telephone Man, is there something wrong with my line? Yeah. So after the song finished, Keith looked over and Keith just sitting in his chair, cool as can be, said, Hey, uh, so am I battling Bobby Brown a new edition? I said, oh, shit. <laughs> Even when he did On Our Own, right? So when Bobby did On Our Own, which I love because I love Ghostbusters 2, takes me back to summer 89. And Keith was like, you know what? I was mad about that shit, man. And Bobby was like, what? Man, you had a hit too. You had New Jack City, you know? Uh, then you go telling me no. He said, yeah, but you got that check, that Ghostbusters check. You know, I'm mad about that shit, man. I want that Ghostbusters money, man. Fuck that. <laughs> yo, so Keith, yo, I can tell you, even though Keith... Is known for his baby making music, but he, he you can tell he be clowning, okay? Keith, if you around him, he'll clown your ass, you know what I'm saying? And he was clowning Bobby to the point where I felt Bobby was going to end up being like, yo, Keith, man, you got one more time to throw shade, I'm swinging at your ass, you know? That, that's the rock, <laughs> that's the rock at Keith talking crazy, but yo, love this battle. This is probably my, my favorite battle since X and Snoop. The shit took me back to the to the late 80s, 90s, my mom's card games. Okay, during my mom's card games, she played nothing but Keith Sweat. You know, I'll give all my love to you. Mary go round and round. Then you go telling me no. Uh, girl, I've been thinking about you all day long. I know the more I sing, the more drunk I am. So I'm going to wrap this up real quick because I can feel the alcohol really kicking in, okay? So yeah, this versus was ill. If you missed it, catch the encore. Anybody from the 80s and 90s will appreciate this shit, okay? You're welcome. So, my little two cents, Keith won this shit by a landslide. Bobby came out, you know, Bobby came out and tried to do some shit afterwards, you know. He came out with Rock With You and Young Tenderoni, you know, Bobby and Weaving. You know, don't not don't be cruel, but, uh, you know, um, every little step I take. Bobby was coming back out now, but Keith, you know, Keith too cool for school. Keith was deflecting them shits. Bow, bow, as cool as can be. Who can love you like me? Nobody. All right. <laughs> Came with it. So anyways, y'all, what you think about this battle? Comment freely below. Let me know what you thought. If you like and did the content, hit that like and subscribe notification bell in the corner. I don't give a damn about your comments. Tell my man, Rashad, take your drunk ass to sleep. I'm going to sleep in a little bit, but I had to do this right now because in the morning, I'm probably going to forget and I probably won't be as uh, bright eyed and bushy tailed in the morning. I'm probably going to look like an old man in the morning because that's what alcohol does to you. It ages you the next day. So anyways, this is Rashad G signing out. See you in the next video.